Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome to Cards, which is a World War II CCG. Ooh, that looks nice. Enemy starts the game. Enemy infantry spy. They've got infantry, let's hope you draw a good card. Well, if this wasn't scripted, then I'd be very concerned. There we go. I feel confident. The enemy captured the front line and is now in position to attack your HQ. Attack the enemy unit and halt their advance. So it's a lot of it is about positioning. And it looks to me like the front line is dictated by which card is pushed up first. So there's more of a positioning kind of thing going on here. What if I deploy that? That's good. And then I attack that with this. Neat. Can You can't move. Can you move? You need a turn to get ready. I see. So it's kind of like... um. Horus Heresy Legions, but with a bit more um, strategic focus, I personally feel. I see, now we can capture the front line, which is essentially no man's land, and once you capture no man's land, you're in a position to attack the enemy HQ. I think I see where this is going. Get some more infantry. We're going to move you guys up. Oh yeah, that's a front line. So he shot my dude, but he died in the process. So it's looking pretty good for us right now. Draw on your first order. An order card can be used only once and then it is removed from place. So this is a spell. Deal two damage to a target in the enemy support. What, I could just hit their HQ? I get it. Oof. Let's move you up just because I like having you there. Shoot them and that's a win, is it not? It is. Congratulations! I click continue to start the next tutorial. I've always gonna say to start the tutorial, I was like, Christ. Playing a card from your hand costs credits. You also pay credits when your units move or attack. Oh. You gain a credit every turn. I see. So if you hold back, you can stockpile credits to make bigger moves later on. So the 30th regiment require three credits, for instance, and I wouldn't be able to use them. Moving them up there costs a credit. But I would get two credits on my next turn, I think. Which would then mean I'd be able to get the 30th. I think I understand. Maybe. Uh, considering how powerful those units are, I think you definitely want to get them on the field. Yeah. Use the uh, weaker infantry to hold the position while we move stronger units in. I get it. Strategy. Oh. I guess if that happens, then you don't do that. But, you know, it was a good idea to begin with. You're drawing your first tank. They can both move and attack in the same turn. That makes them incredibly good, it seems. I assume it still needs a turn to set up though, so we'll just move you into there. Wrecked. Bagroof. Alright, you can't move and attack, I see, and you need to get ready. Okay, well we destroyed the enemy unit, that's good. Ow. Well, we're nearly dead. I assume it'll be fine. Usage. Give a ground unit plus one. Zero K! That seems great, why would I not do that? Also, I can win the game right now. Give it to the tank. Actually, I can't win right now because we still need to move up to the front line, but the tank can attack. There we go. Good shit. You can bugger off right now. And I've got four left, so let's just, you know, mess them up. Good shit, good shit. That's a win. That's a big win. Get ready for the next phase. What do you mean next phase? Oh, I see. Welcome to cards. You've now completed the basic tutorial. Select a starting nation and unlock the starter decks of all the other nations by defeating them in battle. Go Soviet, German, British, USA, or Japan. Well, I kind of feel like I have to go British, but it's a close contest between them and the Soviets, if I'm honest. I'm going to go British, though. Oh, I can see what they are first. Vast Empire was caught off guard when the war broke out, but adapted quickly to new types of warfare. With their formidable fleet, advanced aircraft, and incredible stubbornness, the British forces never gave an inch without a fight. The British also had an ace up their sleeve when it came to the gathering of intelligence. For the Allies, this would prove to be one of the mightiest weapons of all. And the Soviets, I'm guessing, would be mass infantry. At the outbreak of the war, although large on paper, the forces of the Soviet Union were badly equipped, trained, and organized. This would change fast. Forged through fire and blood during the Great Patriotic War, the Red Army would soon become an unstoppable war machine. Fueled by their seemingly endless man power and natural resources, the Soviets slowly but surely drove their enemies out of Mojo Russia and into enemy territory. Crushing their enemies with bleh, blitzkrieg tactics, hard-pressing armored units, and mechanized formations, the German Wehrmacht was at its best on the offensive. Battle of Annihilation would be their favourite doctrine. That being said, it could prove to be very dangerous to underestimate the defensive capabilities of the German army. Compared to the Allies, Germany did not have a lot of ships, but in the depths of the oceans were in fearsome packs of wolves, but it's cry dude, the fucking shit. Maybe ad-libbing. 
Although joining the war later than the other major powers, the USA had been preparing their production lines and supporting their allies for years, completely outproducing their Axis enemies. The Americans were eventually able to launch offensive operations of epic proportions in all theaters. High up in the skies glided their flying fortresses, and they weren't delivering the mail. Nope. Finally, Japan. Completely underestimated by the Allies, the Japanese Imperial Army and Navy swept across South Asia and the Pacific in a lightning war of their own. Initially, the Japanese had complete air superiority in the area and a fearsome navy, which included the heaviest battleships ever constructed. When fighting a defensive war to protect the home island, the Japanese would dig in and fight a bitter fight to the very end. When that wasn't enough, driven by honour and loyalty, no sacrifice was considered too big. We'll go with Britain, but all of those factions actually sound really cool. Defeat each nation to unlock its star deck. Good luck. Well, let's... We're going to end on Germany, because that's the most obvious one. Let's start with the Soviets. I want to get through all of these, actually. So, yeah, that's that's good, because this video will prove to be a good, like, taster for those of you at home. Sokolov. We're playing Metal Gear, I see. The music's growing on me, I've got to admit. Mulligan. The Mulligan stage, where you can uh, redraw your starting hand. Okay, well, we're not, I'm not seeing a lot of 1K here, and I'd quite like to have something I can play on the first turn. That looks useful. We'll get rid of you for the king. Well, yeah, no, the Soviets did use tanks, so that would be useful. Okay. Mulligan you. That's even more expensive. You've just drawn a, a card called Churchill Mark IV, which has the guard ability. Adjacent units cannot be attacked except by bombers and artillery. Okay. Well, I can't do shit, so let's see what you got, Sokolov. I had a feeling that uh, Soviets might be rush tactics. The enemy has just played that, which has the blitz ability. It can move and attack the same turn they come into play. Wait, what's its ability? Just Thanks, game. You've just drawn a six-pounder, which is an artillery unit. They can attack anywhere and don't get damaged in return. Add a plus one one light infantry to the support line. I see. I have 2k, which means I could destroy a tank. That's handy. So they're going to take the front line, but... I have artillery. <laughs> this is not... Mm, my cards could be better. But Britain definitely seems to be a control deck, whereas um, Russia is clearly a fucking... Rush deck, for sure. I'm weird that they haven't taken the front line yet, though. I've just drawn a fighter. Let's play the six-pounder, then. That seems like a good move. It seems like a good move. Alright, so this is interesting. Your enemy has taken the front line. Well, unfortunately for them, they're about to get nuked. Oh, okay, hello. What's all this, then? Can I artillery a fucking plane? Is the question I have. God, adjacent units cannot be attacked except by bombers and artillery. Okay, so what if... We'll deploy them. Oh, adjacent units. I should have deployed it there instead. Oh wow, I can actually nuke their fucking bombers. Well, let's give that a try. That's dope. I love the concept of fucking mortars or artillery just shooting planes out of the sky. That's radical. Now, they can't hit our uh, HQ this turn, but they could destroy my artillery, which would be really annoying, and I can guarantee they're going to do that. Do one damage to a unit. Okay, well, they destroyed my artillery, but they also hurt the HQ. It won't take them long to get past my guards, so... Yeah, that's a thing. If he attacks with his tank, anyway. Which he did. But let's consider this carefully. There's no point using for the king, because their tank has one health left. That would be really handy, but... They could just destroy it, like, on the same... Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That would be useful. I'm gonna deploy you. You can attack that. Yeah, they'll be able to get a hit in on our HQ, but it's only gonna be one damage. The only downside is, is when they die, they're gonna get more units. But if perhaps next turn we could get, like, the Churchill deployed, and then get the Six Pounder, and the Six Pounder could just start rinsing their units. So he's gonna shoot the HQ, probably. Wait for it. They've got another guard unit. A very strong guard unit as well. I've just realised that they're guarding that infantry, which is a strange choice, but you know, whatever. Draw two cards. I don't really need that right now, though. We'll deploy it here, so that we can deploy the six-pounder afterwards. These guys don't really need defending, and we can hit... We can hit you guys. Start destroying their... Uh, their units, you know, whittling down their numbers a bit, and I think we could pull through. But they're definitely going on the offensive, like, it's, it's, they've put us on quite a back foot, actually, and that guard unit is a pain in the ass. 
I see, I see. More of them. Yeah, as I suspected, it's a when it dies, stuff happens. But they've got a lot of guard. You've drawn a card called Engineer Regiment, which has a deployment ability. Effects trigger when the plot card is played. Okay, so what does that do? Give all other friendly units plus two defense. That sounds dope. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. So that requires two to f do something. They've got a lot of guard going on right now, so I think we just start chipping these down one by one. We've got three credits left. Gonna get rid of their tank. I love that it actually plays God Save the Queen slash God Save the King. That's great. Okay, that's all we can do for now, but I think I've got my next turn played out. Once we get the six pounder out, we can just start shelling their HQ until they lose. You're not doing much to us, buddy. I mean, attacking is a pretty poor idea. Fully repair all friendly ground units. I see. That is useful. Fury. Units with fury can attack twice. Hello. Humber Mark II. I see, I see. I still want to go with the six pounder idea though, if I'm honest. Okay, so we're not going to be able to kill them yet, but frankly he's guarding- Oh, actually, if we went all in we could kill that thing, so we should, really. Nice. And then you guys finish him off. Good shit, and that's just really weakened their, like, offensive. And once these guys are gone, we can just push forward, and it's going to be a huge problem for... We can deploy that, why not? Support line is full. Fair, fair. Kind of a shame that they limited, though. I would love to have these, like, massive fucking lines going. But, you know. Now, it does get them light infantry each time, so... It's not the end of the world for him if, uh... If he used, loses those units. Okay, let's get the Hummer going. Let's use that. Target air unit must retreat. Gives your HQ plus two. When a unit retreats from the front line, move it back to its... Uh... Oh, okay, that's useful. They don't have any planes right now, but that's a good effect. So we'll move Churchill up to the front. You can go with him. Can you go as well? No, because you just got here. That's fine. Uh, this does double damage against tanks. That's a tank. Hit that tank. Oh, Rex. Oh, Rex. And I don't even have to move in on their HQ if I don't want to. I will, but I don't have to. <laughs> I could just shell it to death. Can I, can I deploy these to the front line? No. Oh, but I can just attack with it. Nice. Let's just hit him with everything we got. Just apply some real fucking pressure. Unless they make some big moves, we've got this. Four damage from enemy air unit. I see, I see. Dead. You gonna try and take out that- Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Unfortunately for you, I'm going to shell that thing. I hope you realize that I'm going to shell that thing. AA Barrage. Yeah, I already had that, but thank you. Boom. Lads. Lads. Do me. Go on. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Soviet starter deck unlocked. Lovely. We'll do USA next. This will be an interesting fight for sure. I'm going to stick with Britain. If you want to check out the other decks, maybe you could go have a look for yourself. I don't know why I'm doing like advertising tactics when I'm not advertising for them. They're not paying me. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, the game's kind of cool. Maybe you want to check it out for yourself. I could re I could get started immediately with it. Actually, this is all spells. This is all fucking spells. Cup of tea. I'm going to keep that card. You better fucking believe I will. We don't need two AA barrages. We don't need that immediately. I see, I see. We're definitely going to be on the back foot for the start of this one, for sure. Oh yeah, we have nothing to deploy. But the good news is, is those Baluk regiments are going to reinforce the HQ, so whatever damage we take won't be so bad. One extra credit slot. That's not good. I don't need them getting more credits per turn. Can this go above 20? Let's find out. 
It can. It do. It does. Okay, well, they'll get a hit in on our HQ, but our Baluk regiments can destroy that and still survive. So they'll be able to do three damage to something else. Hello. HQ is immune to damage on your turn. I see. I see. There's a lot of fucking strategy going on here. Plenty of Baluk regiments. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now hit them. Yeah, they have. And I'm not interested in moving up and taking it right now anyway. Gonna be quite difficult to displace that thing, but, uh... I think we just got something that will help us out. Well, we already had something, but now we've got another thing. There we go. If we set it up this way, they'll probably go after him. Which is fine, because that regiment is virtually useless anyway, as it's about to die. And everything else is protected. Next turn, we could play Resolute Defense to give those Churchills even more staying power and firepower. We could be in a good position. The one thing worth remembering, and it, I'm making sure I remember it, is that you need points to do stuff as well as just to play cards. I need to make sure I don't forget that. Oh, okay, that's not good. That was a smart move. I wish you hadn't done that. They are playing a lot of cards. Oof. I see, I see. Off you go. Um, this is tricky. This is tricky. Give you units plus two defense. Yeah, we'll use cup of tea. Good shit. That. Good shit, good shit. And these two could actually take him out. Although it would be costly, and he would die in the process. No, he wouldn't die in the process, but he'd be wounded. Yeah, no, I think... Hang on, let's look at that card a bit more. It's it's not anything special, particularly, but it does need to go. Like, we can't just have it hanging around. There we go. Enemy has lost control of the front line. We've pushed them back a bit for now. This is interesting. This deck... These guys are rather substantial, because they have, like, eight credits. I only have six. Going on seven. They can deploy a lot of crap very quickly. Oh boy, I forgot about that. So you can get some aircraft or something. Draw two cards, that could be more useful than you think, actually. It's not a great idea, but I've got an idea. Enemies lost control of the front line. It just keeps them on their toes for now, and we'll play... We get another Baluka regiment, de Baluka regiment down there. A bit more defense. Can I use pin on that? There we go. He won't be able to just fly over and attack next turn, which is good. They've taken the front line again, which is really annoying. They shelled us again. Although, weirdly, they didn't go for the HQ, which is what I would have done. Although, I guess... No, actually, there's no reason to do that at all. Get some more cards. Six pounder. That's kind of what I wanted, actually. We're setting up. Because next turn, I will just spend a bunch to make that Churchill even stronger. Oh, no, you did zero damage. What an idiot. Okay, I see you do that. This works out. This does work out, actually. I can work with this. I can work with this! I wish you wouldn't do that, though. Cup of tea. I could choose... Ooh. That could change everything. I'd rather... Do that, like, twice, and just make that thing unbelievable. Like so. And then we'll play the six-pounder next to him. We'll use you to kill you. That's good, that's good. Now, which one of you two is worse? We'll get rid of you. Okay, okay. we will save the cup of tea for now, because that could be incredibly useful, but I think this is the beginning of the end for them, personally. Now that we've got a strong defensive unit and some artillery in place, and some decent infantry going, with more on the way, I think we've backed them into a bit of a corner. 
Get more cards. Let's see what we got. Oof, that could be handy. So that is... That's a tank. Infantry. M8 Greyhound. That's artillery. Don't like them. I could use you to destroy you. Wrecked. Move you up to the front line. You on the field, because you can attack twice. And our HQ can take a bit of fire, so let's deploy another six-pounder. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. You can't do that, can you? No, that's fine. That's fine. Just buff everyone a bit, I guess. There we go. Now, they are incapable, currently, of uh, killing that infantry unit. Oh, that did nothing. What a shame. Maybe you should buff yourself a little bit, idiot. One extra credit slot. Not great, but that's come far too late for you, pal. Far too late. My turn. Oh, yes. It's the beginning of the end, my friends. Especially, it's just got a spitfire. One of the best prodigy tracks. Seriously, isn't that song? It's really good. The sport line is full. God damn it. Well, we're going to move you up anyway, so... Spitfire. Can you fire this turn? Although, to be fair, you cannot move further this turn. Oh, he's not exactly durable anyway. Let's start clearing them out. You can clear out him. You can hit that. Oh, it's going well, lads. Oh, he can't do it on the same turn. That's a shame. Two, four, five. Is that... Yeah, and the, and the actual HQ counts as a unit there. I see. That makes sense. Oh, nice. Can he do that again? Oh, he can. Oh, my dudes. All right. I appreciate this might not be the funniest thing you've ever seen, but I am genuinely enjoying this. There's a lot of strategy going on here. It's really tickling my strategy bone. And this is just against the computer players. Like, you know, if I actually tried playing against someone real, they'd probably kick my teeth in. I see, I see, I see. You're very strong, bruv, and I dig that. But what if I shot you? Yeah. Yeah, what about that? What about air? I think we can comfortably move him up to the front line. Good shit, and we can move someone else to the back line. Yeah, just deploy one of those to protect the artillery. There we go. Now there's no chance of reprisal. <laughs> Wait, can you guys fire? Oh, you can. I forgot to do that almost. Beautiful. Well, game's nearly over. I'm feeling good about this. Feeling good. I don't think the British Army is my particular preferred choice of playstyle, but it's definitely effective. Alright, well, frankly, these tanks have caused him such a headache over time, I want them to end it. There we go. Good shit. Nice. That's fun. That's fun. That's damn fun. So all that's left is Japan and the USA, and Germany, sorry. We'll hit Japan next. I'm interested to see how the Japanese play. Oh, Kazama. Kiryu Kazuma. Or Jin Kazuma, if you prefer. Ooh, two Humbers. That's a good start. Oh, we could go aggressive to begin with. Oh, we could go very aggressive. Yeah. Play a Hummer. How do you feel about Hummers, dickhead? The mouse, because the mouse wire keeps touching my leg and it makes me jump, because I'm like, why is there something touching my leg? Taking the front line. Now, they'll probably attack it and destroy it, but that's fine. We've got another one on the way. Sure enough. And they've got another of the same thing. Well, what I'm going to do, lads is I'm not even going to bother shooting at him because he's going to have to shoot at me to get past. So instead, we're going to move up. Shoot that. I'm going to burst him a bit and also build up a hand of cards. Because he is required to purely act reactionary in order to stop that. He can't just move past me and attack my HQ. He has to destroy that first. Like so. Baluk Regiment. God, those things are useful, but for now, 5th Brigade is going to do exactly what I want. There we go. 
That tank, any special order is given, deal one damage to the HQ of the player giving the order. Oh, so that's a double-edged sword. That hits both of us. Interesting. But frankly, next turn I'm going to deploy my six-pounder, so whenever he starts putting out tanks, I'm going to blow them up. I see, I see, yes. Good effort, sir, good effort, yes. Mm, yes, very good, very good, yes. Thank you, short fuse. Uh, uh, we'll go with this for now. Just get them out of the way. There we go. Next turn, we'll deploy the Churchill, because I imagine this will probably have been destroyed by then, and then we can just start shelling them. I love shelling shit. That feels good. That's what I like. Shelling shit. Hayabusa. Oh, that's where the name came from. Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, and when it explodes, it kamikazes the base. Interesting. Fun detail. We may as well have you destroy that. And we'll set up a church all over here. Absolute stacked up unit. Oh, Spitfires would be useful right now, actually, given the current situation. Yeah. Get a Spitfire out there. And apparently it's being guarded by a tank, because that makes sense. We're going to leave the 5th Brigade there, because if we move them up, the 6-pounder will be vulnerable. So we want to keep them protecting that. Interesting. Very interesting. I am enjoying this quite a lot. I appreciate all the commentary is, it's just me explaining my tactics at any given moment, but oh boy, that's not good. Okay, I see, I see. Well, once we destroy it- hello, what do you do? Friendly units have plus one attack. Well, we can nuke that one, and that will, um, unfortunately damage the HQ, but we do have means of recovering from such things. Although he's a fucking problem, let's be real, but nah, that needs to go. Unfortunately, it does require me to sacrifice my Spitfire, but it's more important to get rid of those things than to get rid of that. Although that does need to go. Next turn, that thing is getting shelled, I promise you. That could have gone better for us, but uh, it's all part of the plan, boys. All part of the plan. We've got those forming a strong defensive line, and then next turn, we'll send Baluk regiments to push up. That's the plan, anyway. God knows how this will actually go. In these kind of games, you know, you plan something and then the whole map explodes and you're like, cock. Oh, I would like to get rid of you. Wait, he pushed up. Why did he push up? Well, that would be handy. Good shit. Now you nuke that. Good, good. Since that's a whole- actually, he's defending the ba- Ah, it'll be fine. Let's move these guys up. And we'll bring in... We'll bring in the Baluk Regiment, and then we'll play Cup of Tea. Now everyone's a stacked up unit! Yeah! What does that do? Plus two attack until the end of turn. Well, it didn't do him much good, now did it? When you really think about it. May as well draw more cards. Are you telling me that I can make my Churchill even more of a stacked up unit? Yes. And I can deploy another double pounder. With cheese. These two both do the same, so may as well just do that, I suppose, and we can push you up. There we go, pushing the offensive. I like it. Oh, I think the match might be over. You know, I think the match might actually be over. Let's just hit them with everything we've got and see what happens. Alright, it's not over yet, but it's close. Very close. That felt damn good. Everything that just happened felt great. There we go, let's just take the piss a little bit more by making our fucking HQ above max health before finishing the game. Unless they do something, but I don't think they're going to do 22 damage uh, in a turn. Nope, they don't even have any cards to play. Well, let's just shell them. Boom. Good shit. Japan starter deck unlocked. Beautiful. Alright, last but certainly not least, 
Germany. Let's see how they do. Let's see how they stack up against these units. Oh, we got the Hummer on the first turn. Excellent. Followed up by a fifth brigade. Oh, hello. What's all this then? We've got Hummers on the field. I feel good about this. He's taking the front line. I see. He's going aggressive. Well, three additional credits next turn. That's awful. That's terrible. I wish you wouldn't do that. All right. Well, I was already planning to play a bit more defensively. Now we're definitely going to play a bit more defensively. Although, might actually be worth using the Hummer to just destroy that first. Spend both my creds on doing that. Because if he's about to throw out a ton of shit, we'd be better off just making sure he has less units than he otherwise would have. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And we still have a unit left over. Admittedly a very weak unit, but a unit nonetheless. And then we can bring in the 5th Brigade. Give all friendly ground units in the front line plus one defense. That's not good. 5th Brigade. And just to make sure they don't fuck with us, we're going to give him resolute defense. There we go. Try and get past that one, you dickhead. Having said that, looking at his Grenadier's health, um, he could get rid of it, which is annoying, but you know. They've both pushed up. Unit cannot be attacked until it has moved or attacked. Oh, I see. He's got smoke screen. Well, he's moved, so that's moot now, I guess. Good job. Well done. Deployment. Give all other friendly units plus two defense. That could be useful. It would only give me one point to work with. Give adjacent tank and infantry units plus one one. That could be useful. They have to get past um, the fifth brigade anyway. So what if I just upgraded that? Yeah, do it that way. That's good. Okay, we're just building up a strong defensive position. Granted, by destroying that unit, he's going to get around the buff, but he has to waste his time and health in order to do that. So it still works. Also, if he thought that it would be that easy to get rid of them, he is sorely mistaken. Like so. And, oh wait, there's more. Yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> So, let's see. We're not dealing with a lot of attack power for now, so let's just get rid of you. Thin out your numbers. They do have um, aircraft, which I'm not particularly keen on, but... Yeah, no, we can work with that. You absolute... Oh, wow. They're really trying to go for him, aren't they? It's too late. He already did his deployment effect. You're pissing in the wind, pally. Yeah, now nah, we got it. Enemy has lost control of that. We use AA Barrage. Send that back where it came from. Reinforce our base. We've got three credits left. That is just enough for... You to push up. You to push up. And you to push up. We'll be sending reinforcements soon. He's defending the base. Very well. <laughs> Feeling good. We've already put... They had a big turn where they had like more credits than usual. And they made a proper push. And now we've got them on the defensive. What do you do? You can move an attack, so he's just a tank, basically. Having said that, those tanks are some serious business. Well, that one wasn't. Uh, let's get rid of that. That's a good trade. And then, it, while it doesn't leave us in a particularly strong position, the 26th Engineer Regiment will at least hold the position in the meantime after that's destroyed. If I move the 5th Brigade up, though, that would give us some honest to God staying power. Yeah, I think that's best, actually. Do it that way. It's going to take him a long-ass time to get past that thing. By which point, the Spitfire will destroy it. I see. Interesting, interesting. Pin enemy target. Oh, I see. So he can't do shit next turn. Okay. And they've got a tank, who is smoke-screened and can blitz. He's going to get three additional credits next turn. That's not good.
Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Bugger off. Okay, um... So we need three to make them do shit, basically. He can't do anything right now. I'm thinking getting some Lancashire fus Fusiliers onto the field. That would be good. That'll be a nice, strong unit to back us up. In the meantime, not much point going after him because... Fucking look at him, he's a stacked up unit. We'll hit you, make you go away. And in the meantime, we'll target your base and apply some pressure. Good, good. We're now in the lead by like nine points, which is considerable. But could change. Yeah, I'm not surprised he finally decided to do something about him. They got their plane back. Blackout. So the Spitfires are still grounded. He didn't spend all his credits. Why did he even use that ability if he wasn't going to use all of his credits? Deal five damage to an enemy tank. Don't mind if I do. Wrecked. Yeah, deploy the Baluk Regiment. They're good to go. Move them up to the front. Have these three just unload on this fucking base. He ain't got much. This will be over soon. That's good, but you don't have any... Uh, guard units, buddy. Hummer. Have fun. Yeah, no, this fight's over. I'm not going to drag it out. Goodbye, loser. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, yes. Truly a representative of the great strategic brilliance of Britain. You've defeated all nations and unlocked their starting decks. You can now edit and create your own decks and battle against other players. Hot shit. Rewards. I got a base pack. One pack of cards. A. Hey. For three free packs, go enter your email. Nah, I'm good. That was cards, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. That is fun. That is very enjoyable. That's a little brain tickler when you're playing it. There's a lot of strategy involved, both coming down to card effects, how cards operate, positioning, fighting for the front line, because it's easy to think sometimes that just going in and grabbing the front line is the most important thing to do, but the support so the support line, which is where your base is, yeah, you can only deploy, deploy four units instead of five, but it can be an incredibly powerful defensive position. If you, if you do it correctly, it can be almost impossible to displace you from there, to the point where the enemy has to think up new ways to try and displace you, like, say, maybe letting you take the front line so you use up some of your good units, and then they retaliate with a support, like, bolstered force, you know, supported by their support area. It's interesting. I can't imagine what high-level play looks like here. It must be fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever get there because I'm just not that kind of person. But this is cool. And it's free, you know? Like, you get this kind of interesting and enjoyable gaming experience for free. That's always a good sign. But, I don't know, I'm not here to do a fucking advert. If you want the game, get it. If you don't, don't. But I think it's pretty good. But thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and I don't know when I'll next find another CCG that gets my attention, but if I do, then I will do that, and that will be then. I hope to see you there. Fuck my own outro. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Toodles. Goodbye.